All right, friends, I thought I'd do vocabulary a little differently today so I don't have to keep going back and forth. And this way you can take a look at the page on page 388 in your small textbook if you'd like to look at it with me. Or just keep watching the video and I'll explain everything to you. Remember the vocabulary strategy that I talked about in the last video is multi-meaning words. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that as well as we go through here. So here's your first highlighted vocabulary word. It's the word exclaimed. What a surprise, James exclaimed. So it's kind of like shocked and shouted. The definition is if you exclaimed, you spoke or shouted suddenly because you were excited or upset. So that's exclaimed and you can see that little boy's face. He's pretty excited or shocked, I would say. Here's this next word, finally. Finally is a great word to use while you're writing and going on to that last step. Finally, the mail is finally at Liam's house. So finally means, just go to the definition only here, if something finally happens, it's happened after a very long time. So I know that while you've been at home a lot and I've done the same, I've been waiting for the mailman to come. Um, make sure it's okay with your parents that you get the mail or if, if you should touch it or anything like that, but it seems like it takes forever, but finally the mailman or mailwoman comes. So there is our word, finally. This next word has a combination O-R in it. The word is form. It's O-R or like horse. To form has two meanings. It's a multi-meaning word. Um, a form that you fill out at a doctor's office is like a paper and you have to write like your address, insurance information. A lot of um, adults fill out those forms. But you filled out a form actually before conference time about how you thought the school year was going. This is a different meaning of form. Here's an example. Charlie and Dylan wanted to form a chess club. And this kind of form means when you make or shape something. So they're making a club, they're forming a club, they're creating a club, a chess club, which I do not know how to play. I always wish I knew how to play chess. Seems pretty cool. You have to let me know if you know how to play chess. So form is a multi-meaning word. It could be a paper that you fill out, a form, could be even um, not just paper, pencil, but could be on a computer, a survey or a form. But here in this story, it's about creating and making a group, okay? Or you could create or make something. History is something I really enjoy, learning about the past. And some of us wonder, why do we have to learn about history? Well, it's because we learn from our mistakes. And if we do something right, we want to continue to do it. So we study our history. And it looks like this little guy is with um, a grown-up looking at old pictures from the past in history, maybe of his family. It says Ben learns about the history of his family. And the exact definition of history is the story of what happened in the past. Okay, we've talked about civil rights with Martin Luther King and how things were black only or white only in the past that happened. And we've learned a lot about mistakes that we've made. And we've looked and changed the future because of that. So it's important to study history. I will show you this little video here. History. History is the story of what happened in the past. So knowing where your family came from um, when they came to America is very interesting. And that's something that we learn if we study our history. Here's this next word. It's a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel word. It is divided between the two consonants, so let's focus on the first syllable, pub, lick, public. The reason it's a C, if you remember back in phonics class, if it's more than one syllable with a K sound in the final position, it's just a C, like music and this word public. The school playground is Gina's favorite public place. Okay, Public means it is for all people to use or to visit. It's public for everyone to use or visit. I know some people with the playgrounds closed right now, but some people go visit the school playground. It's such a nice playground in the summer. We'll even take like a Happy Meal over there and sit in the shelter house and then play for a while. It's public. People um, can all go. Here is the suffix S for this word. This word is rules. 
It's a voiced S, sounds like Z a little bit, like a Z. We must follow the rules of our school. And you saw a video about that. Rules are directions that tell how to do something or what is allowed. And you also can learn from rules what you shouldn't do as well. All right, this word is united and we're called the United States of America. United means to be of one country. No matter what state you're from, we are all in the same country of the United States. And we say this word every time we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, this team works as a team. They're united. They work together, just like the states work together for our country. Okay, the children united to win the game. The definition of united is they are brought and joined together. So to form one, united. And here's our last one, also has a suffix s. This word is writers. The writers were busy finishing their stories. You guys are all writers. We're going to write a little bit about Earth Day later this week. Um, writers definition. You can see these second graders look just like you guys when you're writing. Writers are people who write stories, books, and articles. Okay, so any kind of writing. You write your name on your paper and then you go ahead and write in your journals as well often. So I think that is everything we're going to talk about. Please remember we are looking at page 388 in the small reading textbook if you want to go back and look at these words. These words are eight words that are going to be in the short story and the long story this week. We'll do a little vocabulary paper on it as well. I want you to be able to read these words, understand these words, and even to use these words when you're talking with somebody at home or um, one of your friends on FaceTime or maybe even in Zoom you can use one of these words. All right, so friends, um, thank you for listening and learning your vocabulary words this week. And if you need to remember them or you're struggling with them a little bit, just go ahead and watch this video again. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.